How's it going, YouTube? My name is Golly, and you are watching a Black Ops 2 Buried video, a solo gameplay of me playing last night and making it to round 65, which was my final round on this map. And this is a pretty epic spot, so I wanted to share it with the internets. So to get to the spot, you're going to need the paralyzer, and all you're going to have to do is aim it at the ground, hold A, and then jump on top of the bank, which is located right in front of Juggernaut. And once you do that, you camp exactly where I'm at, and make sure you don't clear the debris behind you for 750. And if you do that, the zombies only funnel into this rooftop to kill you from one direction. And they're all clustered together. So the best strategy I found was to kill them with the paralyzer. Alright, and all you gotta do is burst fire it. And if you burst fire it, you can make the ammo for it last forever. And it's really awesome because the zombies basically die before they even get to you. And you can do this up until round, I'm pretty sure, 100 if you wanted to. But the reason I wanted to end this uh, low of a round was because I've heard that there are stability issues with this gun and this map. So I didn't want to risk getting to a high round and then it not counting on the leaderboards or something. So I just kind of went down here at the end of round 65. But it's okay. It's okay. This was still an awesome gameplay. I had tons of fun. But this spot does get very boring. So make sure you got some jams playing in the background or something while you're doing this. So as you can see, I have 1 million points, which is the max amount of points. And I also found out that the bank on this map has a point value cap of 250,000 you can put in it. And once you have that in, you can't put any more in. But as you can see, the zombies are distracted right now. And you'd be like, why is that? Well, Scavenger, once you kill a whole swarm of zombies, Scavenger lets off a green mist that the zombies are attracted to for like 5 to 10 seconds. And that can be really, really useful because that's more charge down rate for your paralyzer. So uh, you want to try to keep the paralyzer number as low as possible, uh, because once it gets to the number 115, it overheats and it won't let you shoot it for a few seconds. And in this strategy, not shooting it for a few seconds is not something you want to do. So I would highly suggest running Scavenger on this, because some of you might be like, Scavenger doesn't do anything for the paralyzer, it has unlimited ammo. But what it does is actually, when you pick up one of the ammo packs that Scavenger drops on this roof, it decreases your overheat by 10. So say I'm at 20, 26 right now, if I picked up an ammo pack, it'll bring it down to 16. And uh, if you pick two of them up, bring it down to 6. So the ammo pack can be used to regenerate uh, your ammo a little bit better on this gun. And the other perks I would recommend are Quick Revive and Juggernaut. And you don't really need the other ones. I just felt like getting the other ones because I went through the witch's house and she gave me two free perks one time. So... Yeah, this strategy is really easy. You don't even need perks for it. All you need is the upgraded paralyzer and some time bombs just in case you get screwed over. And I would throw my time bombs on the top of the roof uh, across like alley from me. And uh, it seemed to spawn me right back up on top of the roof I'm on right now every time that I use my time bomb. And the time bombs can be really helpful because if, say, you go down and... You get right back up, you can set off that time bomb, and you'll go back to where you weren't down, and you'll keep all your perks. So that helped me keep my perks two times in this gameplay, and I probably would have had to go get them all again, and I wouldn't have had seven perks in this gameplay without the time bomb. So uh, I would highly recommend the time bomb on this map if you're going for high rounds, because if you get screwed over, you can set yourself back to a uh, previous round really easily. So uh, I kind of wanted to show you guys a strategy exit. For this gameplay and the strategy too when your gun overheats as you can see i'm getting a little bit closer to the overheating number but it's steady staying around 70 which is good <sighs> this strategy goes so hard in the paint i was playing this zombie game for probably eight and a half hours and uh it was it was pretty fun up until around 60 where it started taking so many so many like bursts with this thing to kill zombies and the rounds were lasting forever so uh, once you get past 60 it'll take like half an hour around but if you feel like doing it then it's okay because it'll be worth it in the end to get on them leaderboards so as you can see this is the escape route i took whenever my gun overheated i jumped right off the roof ran around the map gave my gun some time to cool down and then jumped right back on top of the bank whenever i'm ready and as you can see it went from 105 to 20 and just like that I have a charge down gun again and I'm safe from the zombies so yeah guys I hope you can use the strategy to your advantage and try to get to a high round yourself I don't know how much longer this is gonna be a viable spot to camp at because 
It's not a glitch, but this could be considered an exploit since the zombies can only come in from one direction to kill you. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't put it past Treyarch for them to patch it anytime soon. I wouldn't pet, put it past them at least. So I could definitely see them adding another zombie spawn for this roof. Or maybe just eliminating you being able to go on this side of the roof. But it seems like you're able to go up here because there's a barrier up here. And you're able to walk around up here. So this isn't a glitch or anything. So you should be good to get to high rounds on this for a while. So uh, just let me know how this goes for you in the comment section. And for those of you wondering what place I got ranked in the world. I actually got put to place 1,910. Um, I thought I was going to be higher on the leaderboards, but apparently people have been going hard at this map also. So it's not just me that made it to this high of a round, but hopefully with this strategy you guys can make it to a high round. And let me know in the comment section how it goes for you. So yeah guys, uh, that's that's that for this video. Um, make sure the zombies don't get too close to you, or else they might just end up screwing you over. So that's my only advice to you, because if if you let them get too close to you, and you let this gun overheat, you can get trapped in this corner really easily unless you know how to jump off the right hand side of the roof in time. So yep, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to rate it. And subscribe to my channel for more zombies. And until next time guys, peace! I can do mean anything to anyone? I suspect we are beyond reaching a peaceful solution. Hey!
is a curious collision. Under these circumstances, I will not think of refusing any offer of assistance. transaction. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. Hey, there are other snacks around here, you know? Stronger. That's all I ask. 